Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is square root of 4 minus x plus square root of x plus 1 is equal to 3. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we'll take this square root of x plus 1 into the left side. So, it will be this, which is square root of 4 minus x is equal to 3. Then this square root take to this side to be minus square root of x plus 1. Then to remove this square root, we'll square in both sides. So this square root will cancel this square. Then into this side, it will be 4 minus x. So here, 4 minus x then is equal to, from this side, is in the form of a plus a minus b then bracket square so from this part which is a minus b bracket square is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square so into here it will be a square is 3 square then minus 2 times a is 3 times b is this which is square root of x plus 1 then plus b square it will be this square which is square root of x plus 1 then bracket square then in the next step it will be 4 minus x is equal to 3 square is 9 then minus 2 times 3 is 6 then this square root of x plus 1 then plus this square root to cancel this square so it will be this plus x plus 1 then in the next step it will be 4 minus x is equal to this this 9 plus 1 is 10 then plus x then this minus 6 square root of x plus 1 then in the next step, this square root, this term with square root negative 6, square root of x plus 1, this, because it is negative, we take into this side, and this we take into this side. So this negative 6 square root of x plus 1, we take to this side, it will be 6 square root of x plus 1. Then is equal to this, which is 10 plus x. 4, we take to this side, it will be minus 4. Negative x to take this side it will be plus x. Then it will be square root 6 square root of x plus 1 is equal to 10 minus 4 is 6. x plus x is 2x so it will be plus 2x. Then in the next step we divide by 6 in both sides. So this 6 and this 6 will cancel then it will be square root of x plus 1 is equal to into here 2 is common so we take 2 out of bracket 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus 2x divided by 2 is x bracket then over this 6 then it will be square root of x plus 1 is equal to to simplify this will cancel by 1 and this by 3 so it will be this which is 3 plus x over 3 then to remove this square root we'll square again in both sides so this square root will cancel this square then it will be x plus 1 is equal to the square of 3 plus x it will be 3 square then plus 2 times 3 times x then plus x square then over 3 square it is 9 then this is same as x plus 1 over 1 then we'll cross multiply so it will be 9 times x plus 1 so here 9 bracket x plus 1 bracket is equal to 1 times this so it will be x square then plus 2 times 3 is 6 6 times x is 6x then plus 3 square it is 9 
then it will be 9 times x is 9x plus this times this is 9 is equal to x square plus 6x plus 9 then we take this into this side because this is quadratic equation so it will be this which is x square then plus this 6x 9x we take to this side to be minus 9x then plus 9 this 9 we take to this side to be minus 9 is equal to 0 then from here it will be x square then 6x minus 9x is negative 3x then 9 minus 9 is 0 so it will be equal to this 0 then from here x is common so we'll take x out of bracket then x squared divided by x is x negative 3x divided by x is negative 3 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas the first solution is x is equal to 0 so into here x is equal to 0 and the second solution is x minus 3 is equal to 0 so here x minus 3 is equal to 0 then here we already get the first value of x here we turn negative 3 to the right side it will be x is equal to 3 so this is the second value of x therefore we have two solution x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 now to check if these solutions are correct let's check for this x is equal to 0 now back into this uh, problem here we check for x is equal to 0 so here we we'll substitute 0 and here we we'll substitute 0 so it will be square root of 4 minus 0 then plus square root of 0 plus 1 is it equal to this 3 then it will be square root of 4 minus 0 is 4 plus square root of 0 plus 1 is 1 is it equal to 3 square root of 4 is 2 plus square root of 1 is 1 is equal to 3 now 2 plus 1 is 3 is equal to 3 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for the first value of x is equal to 0 now let's check for this other value of x x is equal to 3 so from x from x is equal to 3 we substitute 3 into here and here so it will be square root of 4 minus 3 x is 3 so it will be 4 minus 3 then plus square root of 3 plus 1 which is so 3 plus 1 then is it equal to this 3 then it will be square root of 4 minus 3 is 1 plus square root of 3 plus 1 is 4 is it equal to this 3 then it will be square root of 1 it is 1 plus square root of 4 is 2 is it is equal to 3 because 2 1 plus 2 is 3 is equal to 3 now left side and right side are equal then it is also true for the value of x is equal to 3 so we have two solutions x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye